Alright, welcome back to the channel. I think you guys liked that video on Arctic Blur and how he approaches the center ice position. So we're going to do this again, this time at the right defenseman spot. We're going to be covering Regs84, who's currently the right defenseman on Entourage, who recently qualified for that Caps Gaming LAN, which is coming out later this week. Uh, hopefully we'll see some good positional tips and some ways that he approaches taking things offensively and positionally in the offensive zone as a defenseman for his team. We'll see in the first clip here a little bit of plays that isn't anything that you do with the puck, but more so driving lanes. And that's a big part of how a defenseman actually plays in terms of playing without the puck. You'll notice here uh, the centerman is actually the player that starts the breakout off. Uh, and you'll see Regs recognize that it's actually the centerman that is going to start this play. And he's going to immediately drive almost like a right winger here. you notice that the right winger is actually kind of taking the center spot here because that centerman is actually starting the breakout. So Regs is going to basically drive the play as a right winger here. And he's going to jump immediately into the rush. And what you'll notice is that as the play comes through over the blue line and the left winger kind of cuts towards the middle you'll notice regs is flying up the ice here and what this does is it forces this pink player or the left winger on the other team to kind of respect regs a little bit because the left winger has cut in the middle here he has to make a decision here he has to either go and cover this guy or he has to respect regs that's flying in here and he has to respect him and those kinds of decisions is what causes breakdowns in defenses and ultimately will cause scoring chances. So while Regs didn't necessarily do anything with the puck here, you'll notice that he drives that lane, forces the other team to make a tough decision, and they ultimately get a good scoring chance here in front of the net. Here's a good play by Regs in terms of making a play by carrying the puck and then making a good offensive pass. The biggest thing that you can have when breaking the puck out of your own zone is maintaining that speed, keeping that flow up, and really entering that offensive zone with tons and tons of speed. When you'll notice that Regs doesn't force any sort of pass here. He does make, it's a bit of a risky play here because he's basically skating right into the other team here, but that's the only player that is technically forcing regs into a play he could if he wanted to make a quick dish over to the centerman or subsequently make a dish over to his left winger but he chooses to maintain the speed and really carry that puck he gets around this player and they do have a delayed penalty as actually i just noticed that they do have a delayed penalty so he doesn't have to force anything but he'll come through here and he's just flying up the ice. And you'll notice that once he beats this man here, he has all of this ice basically to take and give his own ability to make a play with. He's basically forcing his hand on the other team here and it proves really, really well. He basically realizes that once he runs out of room and he recognizes that there's a pass to be made, he then makes that pass. He doesn't force a pass. He doesn't make a pass because he has to make a pass. He recognizes the amount of space that he has he keeps his speed up he allows his teammates to get plenty of speed and then ultimately makes a good saucer pass to the guy all the way down and they end up getting a really nice goal from it this is another little clip here of just stepping into space you'll notice that regs isn't directly on the blue line while they're in the offensive zone he's way out in the middle kind of towards that high slot area this is for a couple reasons the first being that their left winger plays extremely low this is also something you'll notice when you play kind of more skilled teams is they really love to kind of clog the middle of the ice. You'll see tons of players in this kind of range, whether it be the wingers, all of the defenders, and then the centermen as well. They really want to clog that middle of the ice. So what this does is it could potentially open up kind of this slot area for the defensemen to kind of roam in however they see fit. And Reg does this perfectly. He recognizes the left winger is kind of cheating over towards the other side. So Reg steps right in that high slot area. And look how much room Regs has. He can either go towards the net and do something himself. He can recognize that this left winger is all the way over here. And he can step in and potentially get a 1T. Or what eventually happens is he actually gives it to this right winger here who steps out, makes a nice little play, and he gets a good assist from it. 
Here's some more good supporting play here from Regs. You'll notice that his left defenseman commits quite low once he gets that cycle puck. Is his defenseman's quite low here towards those hash marks area. So what Regs is going to actually do here is he's going to basically take over that spot. You'll notice that he slides over kind of more from this area. He comes over towards maybe this area here. And the reason why he's doing that is because he doesn't have anyone to necessarily cover towards this area if the puck squirts out. If the left defenseman gets caught and then he's kind of on his own or like last man back situation, his most dangerous player to cover right now is this guy, the centerman. And while the, his own centerman is there, he might, his centerman might peel off. They might not recognize that's a dangerous situation. But you'll notice that because his left defenseman is so low and committed to this player, he's just going to step over and pretty much cover this entire ice. He's just there almost as a support piece. He's not there necessarily to make a play, but he's there to allow his left defenseman to still maintain that aggressiveness that he's kept uh, while he's been playing on the cycle game, but he's still there in case that left defenseman might get caught or maybe there's a bad play, a bad bounce. So it's just a smart play by him in maintaining that good possession. They actually come out here and they get that puck, but it's more so the way that he impacts the play just by being somewhere. So by being in the right spot and maintaining that support position, he allows his left defenseman to stay low. It gives his teammates the confidence to maintain that cycle. And while he didn't get anything from this play, it's good positional awareness that can really propel a team to the next level here. And that's exactly what happened in this game. We'll see in this clip just another nice little take. He gets a DDD pass here. Just recognizes that he has so much space to work with. Really nice vision. He's in the high slot already. His The other team basically has to commit to him and respect that he could potentially get a really nice shot in this play. And he just walks the through, finds a sentiment on a nice little 1T. Now, this is a certain situation here where uh, a lot of people talk about dump and chase. A lot of people maybe that aren't as experienced in that 6v6 format think dump and chase is a very good method, and there's good and bad ways to dump the puck. The biggest reason that I think that dump and chase is frowned upon in a 6v6 game is because a lot of people, the reason why they dump the puck is because they just run out of options. They realize they don't have any good options to pass the puck or maybe skate in to the opposing zone. So they just dump the puck and hope that they get the puck. The biggest issue with that is teams are systematically forcing you to make a bad play. And by dumping the puck with no real support or no rhyme or reason to dump the puck, it just basically gives them a free possession and probably gives them a better breakout than if you actually just controlled the puck and tried to get that puck into the zone on your own. But there's good ways to also dump the puck. And you'll see in this clip here, it's a little bit different. It looks more like a play. You'll see Regs recognizes that this team has a really good defensive setup here on that blue line. It's going to be really tough to get in. So what he does here is he does a left to right dump. Now the difference between dumping for no reason and dumping as a play is there's always a reason why you're dumping the puck. And there's a person that's going to go and get the puck if you are dumping. You'll see here, he does a nice left to right dump, but you'll see on this play, you can see this right winger, he's booking it down to that right corner. So Regs recognizes that this player could potentially get that puck, and he's going to hopefully get behind the defenders, and it's not just a dump and chase, it's more of a dump play. And that's the difference between a good team and maybe just a mediocre or average team. We'll see in this exact same play here, exact same left or right dump, pretty much the exact same play, good setup by the other team, but they actually will win possession here, and it'll come all the way back to Regs, who steps up in the slot and rips it home for a nice goal. And we'll see in this last clip a little bit of everything that we talked about in this video. Uh, we'll see good positional play, we'll see good takes, and eventually just really good awareness and offensive capabilities. We'll start off right away here. His center was committed nice and low. He recognizes that there's a lane to drive. So he'll basically become that right winger, jumping up in the play, keeping himself dangerous while also maintaining a little bit of respect from the other team. Gets the puck back for a nice DDD. And then he's just playing safe here, trying to make sure that because his left defenseman is a little bit caught, he's not too far forward. So they get a bad bounce, bad break. He gets a nice pinch recognizes that he has that space because that left winger here is committed quite a lot to the middle. 
And then it's just good work by him. Tries to get a nice little tip shot. It doesn't actually work for him here. Uh, and then he's playing safe here. Eventually recognizes again that because this left winger is clogging the middle of the ice, he has so much space to work with here that he's going to step right up into that high slot area and get a really nice one-timer to tie this game up. All in all, it's just good positioning from Regs, the ability to carry the puck and have confidence in your own game, as well as just making the right plays and taking the space that you have are all just massive factors that are going to help you contribute offensively for your team. Just because your defenseman does not mean that you have to stay back and be a stay-at-home D-man. Contribute to the offensive game and you'll see plenty of success. If you like this video and you want to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate it and I look forward to doing plenty of more EASHL content in the near future. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.